one. We only serve quarter, but the, uh, like like here, we're serving you quarters and half, but they can stay here and they can eat as much as they can. And there is no limit to the chicken they can eat. There's no limit to the rice that they want to eat. As long as no sharing, no leftover, and no balo. That's just the rule. To what do you attribute your success? And, and uh, is it this company or that company? I mean, the, <laughs> I mean the, the Max's restaurant. Well, the, uh, one of the success is this. I'd like to share this with you. You need to have good partner in the business. I think Max's is one of the best partner we ever had. When we have with them, we said, they're family, we're family. We gel together. And number two, their values are the same values that we do. In fact, I was so amazed when Bill Rogers came here and depict us over the three big companies that applied for them. These are non Filipino. They have more money than us, they're bigger in business than us, but they pick us simply because Bill said this, we like your family values. And I think it's important that people understand that we understand the value of the culture of Filipinos. Number three, I think to be able to be successful, you need to have the right products, you need to have the right brand, you need to have the right location, you need to have the right managers and staff to support you, and you need to have a good group that will be able to be sustaining that. And, and that, I think that's, that would attribute success. Brand is very important. In any kind that you do, branding is important because it carries the, uh, the uh, longevity, the staying power of the, of, of the company. That's why we choose Maxis. Because when it's chicken, people think it's Maxis. When, uh, when you go to the Philippines and you see sit down chicken, what do you think you have in mind? Maxis. When somebody comes here, and they say, I've been to the Philippines. The first thing they do, I've been to Mexico. In fact, I'll share the story with you. Last Saturday, I was here because I... 20% of your customers are not Filipinos. Right now, our average is about 10%. And we would like to uh, leverage that by, uh, by moving to about a 25% margin. Uh, of course, we don't want... Our Filipino is always our main line, And we're proud of that. That's why if you notice, you come to our store, what do you see? They greet you, ma'am, kamusta kayo? Good morning, ma'am, sir, right? That's the traditional Filipino greeting. Number two, our music is Tagalog, right? Only tonight, but most of the time, it's all, it's all Tagalog, actually. And even the English people or, or the non-Filipino would say, why do you have? Because we are authentic. Right? We change our music from time to time. Third, we want to make sure that we keep the uh, we keep the values of the Filipinos to our servers, that they be gentle, they'll be accommodating, they will smile, and they'll be able to be able to serve you best. That's why we like Filipino service.